Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are playing in the Pauper Challenge on Friday, and today we are playing a spicy one, so let's dive right in. As always with me, it is very last minute. There's four minutes, and I still haven't really decided on a deck, but this is what I did finally decide on. I've been umming and ahhing, but we are on uh, Black Green Sacrifice Clay with the Shambling Ghast and the Freebooter. Um... Ultimately, I've decided to max out, uh, go on seven sacrifice effects with the uh, Corrupted Conviction, the Village Rights, four Mezfiends, four Shaman Gas, four Freebooter, and effectively the deck tries to make a bunch of treasures, play Nadia's Nightblade, and then win with the Baskin Brood Skill Sadistically combo with three Tamiyo Safekeeping as backup. The nice thing is we have Shamblin Gas to kill Crackland Sham, so that becomes less of a problem, but... But we are all good. We are maxed out here on four Deadly Suits, four Eviscerators Insight, four Corrupted Conviction, and three Village Rights. So we have lots of ways of being able to effectively kill our opponent's stuff and go through our deck very, very quickly. We've got four Mezfiends, three Tamiyo's Safekeeping as Disruption. Moving on the sideboard, it's fairly straightforward. Um, we are basically on four Weathers, three Duress, four Drowns, and four Stuff Outs. All should be fairly self-explanatory. Four drowns for the aggro decks with four weathers too. Three duress for when we need protection. Four stuff outs for the mirror. That's as easy as it gets. We're doing no nonsense. No messing about. Mana base has four Kalni Gardens as well for sacrifice effects. So we should be able to max out quite nicely with all this draw. And yeah, I'm excited to play this challenge. And I will see you guys for round number one. Hey guys, ready for round number one, of course. Of course we're against Baco. Why wouldn't we be? Um, this hand seems fine, got a good enough start with the uh, Shamble and Gast and all that sort of stuff in Village Rights. So we're going to lead on Swamp in Shamble and Gast. I'm assuming they're on some sort of Terror. Could be on Fair too, like Blue Black Fair. Well, there's Blue Black. So I'm going to I'm gonna attack for one and then Village Rights while they are tapped out. <clears throat> and I'm going to Village Rights now. I do believe they're on blue black fair, but Ooh, what's happening with this? I do believe they are on blue black fair, but we're going to do this now in case we draw something. Drawing more lands, just what we needed. Let's go. I do feel like this deck gets flooded quite a lot with 18 lands, <clears throat> as you can see here. That's the bug one, right? Yep. So they must be on like a blue black, yeah, I was going to say blue black control, blue black fair, something like that. Sort of fit, huh? Calney Garden. Six, five, seven. So we'll do this now. Again, I'm not going to block or anything, so. Um, do we lose this? I think we do. To play this. Makes sense. Island cycle here. Get an island. I'm assuming they're going to attack them. Might ninja, they might not. Who knows? They could just hold up counter magic. No, they're going to ninja. That's fine. So they do have access to four stuff outs. And then four spell stuff. So this is a pretty rough one. Shambling Gast. So I'm going to Shambling Gast it. I'm probably going to keep this land in hand. Um, more to cycle. I'm in Deadly Dispute here. I definitely do not want another land. Um, I'm going to play a Vault here. Then pass. I'm going to look at double block, uh, not double blocking this, but blocking it to kill it. Really does alleviate a lot of pressure. See ya, sure. Skree! We do leave ourselves, leave ourselves a little bit stranded, but other than that, we're okay. Like if they attack, we just, yeah. Okay. Brood skill, huh? Almost forgot we were a combo deck. Uh, we'll play this land and then pass, I think. Yeah, I think that's probably best. Agony Warp this. So let's Village Rights this. Do we kill a Fairy? We don't need another Treasure right? So we just kill a Fairy. Draw two. Mezfiend Last Rites, huh? Do I want to sack a Treasure? Probably not. Okay. We could actually, if we draw the combo here, we could basically look at Mezfiend, Corrupted Conviction, rip something out of the hand, Last Rites something out of the hand, and basically just leave them sort of hang and dry but we need to sort of deal with the ninja idiots do that or find combo basically I'm gonna hit for two got 16 here could cycle this twisted landscape too for a treasure um 
I don't hate that. Cycle this. Could also do cycle this, but I feel like I don't want to. Reboot, uh huh? So, I guess we play a land. We lead on Mezfiend. Spell Stutter Sprite. Sure. Sure thing. So I'm gonna free boot her here. Do you got another counter spell? No. Do I last right here or do I just corrupt the conviction? Um I feel like I can last right pitching both of these, right? Because we don't discard unless it resolves. I'm fine just pitching two cards. So here you go. Counter this please, sort of thing. Otherwise I'm gonna rip two cards out your hand. Yep. Then we have corrupted conviction here. Which I don't hate. <laughs> Scry, get a treasure, draw two cards, block this. Seems fine. Unless they're just going to attack for two. Oh, swing to block. Oh, they're on three cards. Interesting to see how much permission they've actually got. Because I feel like they're probably on removal at this point. Ninja this. Cycle suffocating fume. I'm going to go black. Sack. We still get a scry. And... It's a sack outlet for this. I feel like I'm fine with that. Cool. And the safekeeping's nice. Draw to three cards, sure. We are 37 cards through our deck. We are much further than than the fair player is, which is fine. We did landscape. So we're gonna play this land. We're gonna okay. we're gonna pass here and probably probably look at pitching the one in the bin. A, the one eviscerate the viscerate is inside that's in the bin here. So attack for two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Whee! Don't account that, that's fine. Your spell, sure. Take two. They've got two cards in hand. Combo. So <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five. I'll play this land. If they have a counter spell, I probably lose. Or double protection. Play Brood Scale. Uh, we look at adapting this first. The 3-3 three, three to block this anyways. Cool. Always yes. Always yield. Um, do I just glee this up now? I think so, right? We've just got to go for it. And then see if they have a snuff out. Snuff out. Hard cast. Let's... Protect it. Have we got there? Sack this. Always yield. Woo! We got a combo. Gonna put one in the black. Uh, one. Sack. Draw two. Combo. Uh, so I guess I can play black. I don't want to do this. Play black for Shambungast. Sack kill that. Mezfiend, what's the last card? See what the last card in hand is. I'll probably play Shamblingast. Um, five, just in case this is spell pierce. Uh, do we want to sack and kill, or do we want to sack and make a treasure? Probably make a treasure, right? Create a treasure because it gives us black for other stuff to play like a Mezfiend here. Um, or do I play black to keep digging? Probably I play black for Mesfiend, right? Just in case they have a cast down or something in the hand. Oh, they have an island. It's good to know. Cool. So I need them not to hit a kill spell here. They have one draw to hit a kill spell. Land that we know about. They're going to attack for two. I guess they could hit a ninja here. Ninja and a kill spell. Nope. Okay. Woo! So let's see if the coast is clear. I guess we don't want to do that way. I guess we go sack here. Make this bigger. Play a black mezfiend. See what's up. Hold control. Black. Sack this in response. Get another dude. See what's going on. We draw. We have another. Nope, they have an island. Sweet indeed. Sack. Sack, sack, and we're away. Let's, let's go. One game up. Easy. So there's very there's few ways I could take this, and this is quite interesting. So I take snuff out for uh, spell stutter protection. 
I can take Drown to just generally wipe the board, or I can take Duress for interaction. And I'm sort of feeling towards the Duress side of things compared to anything else. I think the Safekeepings do a good job. Um, and I think everything else is probably okay as well. So I like the last rights. I don't think I want the Drowns. I can see shaving basically. Shave uh, Mezfiend like that and just go three Duress. I think that seems reasonable. I know it's awkward against Spellstut, and Spellstut's always going to be the awkward one. But I ultimately feel... Um, I feel like it's probably best. I guess Mezfiend is probably fine, right? And do I just go two Duresses? I don't think I need a massively sideboard here. I guess I could stop against the aggro. So then do I just board in two Drowns? They're going to bring in more interaction. So I think I, I want the Duresses... And yeah, I'm gonna click on this friend. Like so. So I think we have a fine hand here. I think that's fine to keep. We have Calni Garden, which is a sack. Um yeah. The usual start. I do need a deadly dispute to resolve more than anything though. And I probably want the deadly dispute, even though I know the corrupted conviction is actually the corrupted conviction is better to have now because you these have more sacrifice fodder. I'm assuming we're going to ninja here. Nope, no ninja. That's actually quite good for us. So now we get multiple attempts at this. So I'm just going to pass. And if they tap out, we'll deadly dispute. If they don't, we'll probably still deadly dispute. Uh, yeah. I'll take the one. Five cards in hand. What did they go to? What did they keep? Goes to play first, began with seven. End step. I think I still want a deadly dispute here. And then if they counter spell or spell stutter. We will... I forgot how I bought it now, you know. Yeah, so I cut a Mezfiend, I cut a Corrupted Conviction, I cut a Village Rights. Gambling Gast, huh? So, I guess I play this. That's six cards. Then we'll Deadly Dispute it. That five cards. Then back up to seven. Yep. Just so they can have six here. Then Duress. So I guess I'm gonna... I'm just gonna play a black and play a Shambling Ghast here. Only one black source, which is quite annoying. But other than that, we're all kosher. Four cards in hand. They're probably gonna spell to the, uh, Ninja this. I'd imagine, but I could be wrong here. Go for two, sure. Ninja, no. Okay, you're down to 16. Visit Landscape's not a bad draw. We've got double green source. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna attack for one here. Sack, get a black source. I don't think I want a duress here. Hmm. I'm going to sack this, get a black source now. Before blocks, because I want to kill this. Because double black doesn't mean I don't need a treasure, really. I can sack this, uh... Kill this. Just be gone. We're in attack, so they can't... They're just going to spell stutter this. That's semi okay. Yep. Yeah. No ninja. Do I want a Duress here? Do they have a third spell stutter? Huh? <laughs> they actually do as well. That's hilarious. Yep. Yeah. I'm just gonna play this. And if they wanna snuff this, they can go nuts. I'm gonna untap and try and eviscerate his inside it. Augur, sure. Brainstorm. <clears throat> a cast in the brainstorm. That's kind of a good sign for us. Means they don't really have any much any little, much more permission. Um so they were really digging for it. Uh, yep. I should have left the green open for Tamiyo's sa to signal Tamiyo's safekeeping here. Two cards. Vault is not the worst. Um, and then one pass. Got 12, so... Um, I'm li I like to... What do I want here? So attack for three, sure. Are they going to ninja something? No ninja or ninja? No ninja. Um, I can even want. I guess I'm sucking this. A fourth spellster in their top 17. That is pretty minging. Four spellster sprites in the top 17. Are you serious? And I'm just drawing all the eviscerate insights. The absolute worst draw spell. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> uh, brainstorm. All go into brainstorm here. <clears throat> Into Lorien revealed shuffles pretty mean one two three four five so we're likely dead here. I need a miracle in 
Augur, sure. So they've got no cards in hand. They've got a Lorien revealed. And I need an absolute miracle in what this is. Ho oh, ho! Perfect! Yeah. Too many lands. Um, I don't know if Duress is what we want. Maybe it's not. Maybe I, I cut one of these. Add a drown. Put a Duress at a second round and just like sort of weirdly shave. Mm, that's so annoying. Like, I can't believe they're seeing four in the top 13. Mulligan. Seriously? I swear Baco's like hacking. Like, what is going on? Four spellsters in the top 13 into Mulligan to Oblivion. Let's go. So we have sort of combo. Last right. Nightblade. Can I just keep this seven? Oh, no, because I'm going to multi five and they kept seven yet again. Uh, pff. Pitch Swamp. Pitch and Last Right, probably. I need to find a better way of dealing with that. So we're just going to lead on this. So annoyed. Yep. So we need Treasures here. We need Corrupted Convictions. I think Insight's probably the card that needs to go as well, as opposed to Village Rights. I have loads of sack outlets. I'll attack. I'll make the trade. I don't mind. If you want to make the trade, that's fine. I'll make a treasure. Nope. Okay. They're going to attack. Most likely ninja. No ninja. Corrupted Conviction is great. So. But they've now got spell stutter up. I mean, no particular rush, I don't think. I even attack with the plant for a legend. Yeah. So I could hold up spell stutter here. Uh, not spell stutter. Corrupted Conviction on here, still gonna scry. Nah, I'm just fine passing. Double Corrupted Conviction, let's go. We're on the aggro! Aggro plan! I also realise I attack with the plant. Let's go, the clock is on! Yep. Yeah. Bajuka bug me, you got it. Five cards in hand now. Huh? Attack for one, sure. Are you gonna ninja? Still no ninja, or are you just gonna hold the cap? So I could. No, oh, I'm still just gonna hold. I'll draw lands eventually. I can for do. You wanna block? That's fine. I don't mind. Let's race to the races. <sighs> Attack for two. Are they feeling safe enough here to ninja? No. Okay. Let's let's have a race. Okay. Yeah. With or not hit snow. I forgot. Doesn't whiff. Um, I should do this. Now that these are getting blocked by this, we might as well. We still get a treasure here too. Spellstar. Yep. Scry. Uh, I need a bottom this, unfortunately. And then I'm gonna corrupted conviction here. Make a treasure as opposed to killing the one one. Unfortunately, we get a draw two. We hit land. That's fine. We also just want to probably just land this while we can, if I'm honest. Yep. It just really provides us a lot of defense, and also it just their the their game plan is I have an army of one ones, uh, I'm gonna attack you in with a bunch of one ones, so it really does provide like some sort of wink on almost, unless they have a cast down or something, like they can't snuff it. They have another auger that oh look a cast down. Perfect. Just what they needed. Oh, come on, man. Give me a break. I'll play this. Play this. Do I Corrupted Conviction this? Make them lose one at least. And then they're going to cast down this, I'm guessing. I'll just dispel that. Okay. Into cast down this end the turn. Wow. They're so good at this game. Man. They literally got it all. Can't do anything about this. Cast down this, sure. I can't believe, like, they literally... Game 2, they had four spell stutters, and then now they've just literally... Just bang, bang, bang. It's not even, like... Augur just literally has hit what they need in a deck full of creatures. Like, come on, eh? Second cast down, so they've got a snuff out in hand. Great. Perfect. Just what I need. Then they get to hit us for five here, right? Yeah. Down to eight. <sighs> so frustrating. Uh, and I'm ready for another piece of interaction here. Three cards, one's a snuff out, but it's all right. They're going to have another spell stutter sprite here. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. They've got to brainstorm for it. Uh, Jesus Christ. Into spell stutter. 
Like, what is this? Absolute madness. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm not dead. But I get scry. And I get scry. Oh, look, another land. Jesus Christ. Brainstorm shit. And, uh, yeah. Into an Akiba. Yeah, like... See you guys for the next one. I honestly... I got it all, is all I can say. Um, see you guys for the next one. Hey guys, welcome back here to round number two. A one lander with a corrupted conviction of freebooter. I actually do think we can keep this hand. We get a scry off this, then a draw two off this. Yeah, I'm okay with that. One half of the combo, one protection, and the payoff. Yeah, I'm done. I'm game. Let's play Vault into freebooter. We're just going to naturally draw the land anyways. Let's go. Island. Is this Fey again? No, it's Mono Blue Terror. Let's go. Corrupted Conviction. Scry. Bottom could start a land. Draw two. We did not draw a land. No. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to have six. I'm not going to play a free boot up. I had three looks at a land. Brainstorm to make it flip. Good sure thing. So we're going to look at trying to Mezfiend potentially. Hopefully we draw a land here. Into Lorien play an island. Okay. <laughs> Back for three, sure. Land. That's the brute scale. I think they've got four spike. I'm going to go with no. No four spike. Let's go. I don't need lands. I've got a brute scale. Island cycle, sure. And so I'll get an island, play an island, attack for 3.14. Land. We got there. <clears throat> um, Attack. So do I play double freebooter here, or do I play... I'm going to play double freebooter. Double freebooter just works. So say if we draw a sack outlet now, we can basically win. Assuming. I don't have anything too exciting. One, two, three spells. Do need a way to kill this, but three, sure. Miss Fiend, let me take a card out of your hand. No, nope, okay. I will hit you for four instead. Close to eight. Um, another one. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five. Is this like double terror or something? Yeah. Serpent. Swing for three, sure. Palmy Garden. Let's play Mezfiend here. Try and take some sort of disruption. And then play Colony Garden. Another Colony Spell. Okay. So play a Green Sauce. And then we are going to pass. Yeah, I don't hit that. Yep. Down to three. Village right, huh? So do we reckon they've got another? I think they have a Boomerang, right? They've got two. I can't not have a Boomerang here. So we go Glee Protect. Protect Sack. So if they have a counter spell, they have a counter spell. Can't do anything about that. Sack this. Trigger. Boomerang. Spell pierce the village right. Is that? I mean, sure. That's fine. No. No. Scry create a treasure. Um, I guess we want to land. Oh, yes. Oh, yield. Sack. Sack. Black. Sack. Pew, pew, pew. Easy. Easy. Um, again, I don't, so I don't think we need the uh, safekeepings at this one. Uh, do we need the last rights? Because I could easily see Bodden in... Mm, I could easily see Bodden in a couple of snuffs. It's only against the Delver, really. So here we are on the draw... We have Calny Garden into Eviscerator in sight. One half of the combo, double per, double sort of permission -y sort of interaction. Delva. Okay. <clears throat> nice. At least we got a better thing than Eviscerator in sight. Ah. The more I'm thinking, the, the less I'm impressed by Eviscerator in sight, to be honest. Brainstorm. Yeesh. Yeah. And it's like, oh, sure. Get yourself an island. So you're on Brainstorm, 4 and Known. 2 for 3, sure. And we have the payoff. We have A payoff plus combo. Another Deadly Dispute. Okay. Hopefully they tap out here and we Deadly Dispute. I'll take a discard. 
Brainstorm. So we draw two, so we discard one. Yeah, I'm game. Wap. Uh, I'm fine discarding the Eviscerator's Insight as well, I think. Could be the last right. But I feel like you might as well keep the last right as another duress. Uh, we basically need... Well, we just need brood skill, right? And then a window to go off. Mill two. Delve the thought, scour, draw. I'm just going to have six because there's nothing for me to do here. They take, we take three down of 14. Sure. They missed a land. Sweet. So I guess I play Gambling Ghast. Play Swamp. And then pass the turn and then we'll Deadly Dispute again. If they, especially if they do something here. Target themselves. Yep. With Deadly Dispute, we'll create a treasure. Look at all this mana. Woo! Draw two, create another treasure. Just get a dig through your deck so much. This is crazy. So we can Duress here. Plus Nightblade. They mill two islands, Jesus. Ouch. Uh, yes. Are they gonna pass? Mezfiend, huh? Duress. Counterspell. So they are on Demon Fury, that's good to know. Got Counterspell. A null and null spell pierce. So we just take counter spell. There's so much interaction here. We'll play this. Six adds one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, take the counter spell and that and that. Okay. So one, two. Who's Mezfiend here? Taking an a null or? No. I feel like we can definitely just play this out. If they do draw another land, they have to pay three mana here to just demon fury this. And I don't often do, I don't really think we care. And then next time we can play Nightblade plus Freebooter. I mean basically just try and naturally race them here with the Nightblade. Obviously not with the Terror though. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they can play Terror. Play Terror for one mana. Which is pretty scary, but it gets blocked a lot. Three down to eight, sure. A null, a null spell pierce. Deem, deem, terror to a non. No. Interesting. Sadistic glee, huh? But, so last right is really good in this sort of situation where we can just go pitch, pitch, pitch and uh, sort of away you go. But um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to play this one out. If they have a counter spell, they have a counter spell. If that's what they've drew. Nope. Rebo. So basically this is attacking me for one. Every time I sack a... Treasure a token, I'm basically taking one. So we'll look at Eviscerating Insight at some point. They're just sitting there holding up protection. I mean, okay. Three out of five. Are they going to play a Terror? Okay. What are you going to do? Do nothing. I like it. I like it when my opponent does nothing. Ooh. Um, I'm just going to attack for three here. And then I'm going to sack the Freebooter, I think. Do the Eviscerating Insight. I do it in my turn. Hmm. What do I sack the plant token? Uh, bum, 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 bum. They're on 16. I could look at Gleon, but I just feel like I don't need to. I think I'll just eviscerate his inside something. Either the plant token or the freebooter. I haven't really decided. <clears throat> they have eight cards in hand. They've now got a third land, so they can be inferior. Then it hit us down to two. Sure. But out of two, Terror, you finally decide to play it. I think I'm going to play this. Uh, sack this. Whee! Uh, I don't need another land, so bottom that. Draw. Oh, are you going to spell pierce? I can pay for the spell pierce, which is actually fine. I'll pay two. To, I'll sack two treasures to uh, pay for the spell pierce. Easily. Gaining four life. Nope. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think the... Uh, I have a position here to, to look at doing that. Brood scale? No. So I'm going to hold control here. I'm going to Mez Fiend. Okay. Village rights. And then we'll look at taking... I actually... Oh god, they do have a car spell. Uh, we'll just take the car spell forever. Game, please. Please, game. Hello? And I'm not allowed to take this car spell. Uh, five cards in hand there. One, two, three, four, five. So they have an all in all. Nothing really changing, huh? Spell Pierce. 
I think I'm just going to duress them taking a L piece here. And then if they want to fork out to do four. Oh, there's another demon fear here, but oh well. Deep analysis in the bin though. Yeah. And then I'm going to pass here. Hmm. And I'll look up, block them with the plant token. If they want a demon fear of the plant token, that's also not the worst position for them. But they do have to tap out for it. They play the land. Three mana. Oh, they're going to flash back. Oh, they get a double deem. That's pretty minging. Deem inferior this, huh? So I guess I do this. Drawing. Lands, which we don't want. Uh, we will do that. And put it second from top. We're at the point where we could actually potentially win this from just attacking. We're going to block here. Okay. Black. Sack. Take two. You don't have nine. We draw something and a village, right? And that is Nightblade something. Yep. So you have five cards in hand, so we don't know about two. Yeah. Corrupted Conviction. So we could play land here. Nine. One, two, three, four. Five, five six. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you can play this land. I can basically just rip the hand apart, right? Oh, one, one, two, two, three. This. Discard Glee land. Taking Dear Inferior Null. Mm, or do I just play Nightblade? I'll probably just play Nightblade, right? Play Nightblade. Play Free Bootar. And then I just attack for one, right? And I can gain so much life here. And I can also cycle this landscape, which I also don't hurt. They're on eight. They mill themselves too. That's fine. Then they get a Terra and a Lorien revealed. Okay. <clears throat> Who needs combo? That's all I gotta say. Land. I'm intrigued at. Yep. The game plan here. Block. Okay. Sack this. Mesfiend. Probably don't want. Draw two. Mesfiend Shambling Ghast. Um, cycle. One, two, and a red. Whee! Up to five. And you're on six, huh? Theme Inferior. I'm assuming that's what they're going to do. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. So if I then go sack, sack. That's that gone. Yeah, I think I just sack both of these, shoot them for two. Sack, sack. We got no player, so, but we will put it to the bottom. Um, or do we put it second from top? No, I think we just put it, uh, yeah, I think second from top's probably fine. I don't mind drawing it next turn. Terror, sure. So you have a null, a null, unknown. So we're going to Mezfane, see what you're working with here. I don't want to sack this just yet, I don't think. Okay, you got a null land. Go. Cool. So then we go Shamlingast. Hi. Corrupted Conviction here. Create a treasure. Draw. I like Brood Scale. Uh, land. Uh, one, two, three. This. Hey guys, welcome back here to round number three. Uh, we've got a one lander here. I don't think we can keep this. We've got a no lander here. Damn son. Oh my god, no. Yeah, I think we can keep this. And we bought um, probably village rights in a forest. Right? Yeah, I think that's probably the best way forward. Goldolfer? Most likely Goldolfer, anyways. There's one part of the combo. We just need another. And a bolt is here in the turn. No bolt. Sweet. Oh, it's Kiln Fiend. Okie dokie. So I'm going to play Swamp here and then pass the turn. And then I'll look at Blocking plus Deadly Dispute. But I also get to hold up stuff out. Got this. Four cards. Kiln Fiend, huh? Lava Dart, my dude. Let's uh, draw some cards. I'm not going to F6. Just so the the thing that we've got here, um, 
I might have a team of battle rage here. Anger, sure. Yep. I'm gonna not like as I say not gonna F6 here because they think I still could be gardens here, so they might be reluctant to uh, go in here on us when we could have a snuff out. They're going in. Eleven. So we're on eight effectively here. We're on three. Got another one. Cool. Dot three. Ah uh, dear. So what's the best way forward here? Two cards in hand, huh? Shambling gas, shambling gas. Mm. I think I'm just gonna play both shambling gas and see how we uh, how we get on. So in corrupted conviction, but we'll see. Interestingly enough, I guess first strike kills it, right? Manamorphos. Red, red. I think they're most likely to be mono red as well, not like the red black version. No team of outrage. Apostle's blessing. I don't even know what the best thing to do here is. Are we just dead? Or do we sack? I don't even know what the best thing we can do here is. Rah. Why can't it be both? Just kill this and then uh, let's just pass the turn. Pass the game here, even. Pass the turn. Uh, weather seems fine. Duress seems fine. Snuff seems fine. All of that seems like a great option. Um, Safekeeping doesn't seem that great. Mezfiend doesn't seem that great. Last Rites doesn't seem great. I don't think we want all the weathers though, right? Maybe like two. And I don't think we need bolt protection and all that sort of stuff, but. Okay. We have freebooter, freebooter, no sack effect. We have one of the combo pieces here. They start on 7 2, but we're on the play. I would like a draw spell, but <clears throat> we can't have it all. We have a snuff out though. Right of flame. That dude. Yeah, I'll just kill this now. Goodbye. Um, I'm gonna play a brood scale out here. Wham! Force them to sort of interact here. We'll uh, play Nightblade. We could play Nightblade here. We could play uh, Village Right, huh? I think I'm fine. Village Right in here. Scry. Shambling Gast, huh? Mm, I think we just put this in the bottom. Try and find a Glee. That's a deadly dispute. That's not a Glee. Freebooter, we could attack here, but I ultimately don't think we want to. We're just going to pass the turn, I think. Do we have another f Mana Morphos? Sure. So they could have it here. They could have like a way to win here. We're on what, 16? Which is actually a pretty bad for us. Burn and Profit. So they are attacking. Do they have a way to make... I think I just want to do this right. If they have a bolt for this, they have a bolt for this. I can't really do much about that. Logistically, is fine. Put that on top. Draw. On top. Draw. Yes. Yield. Glee. Sack. Yep. Interesting that they conceded there, but fair. Do I want safekeeping back? Probably not. Um, is it better than weather? Probably. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, so we've got Duress. I think we keep this, right? Double Duress. They multi six. We keep seven. Keep six here. Do they have the turn one threat? No. So we have turn one, Duress them. Lava Dart, Apostle's Blessing, and some amount of threats. So we're going to take this. Apostle's Blessing. The founder second land, Jesus. Must be nice. So they play Burn and Profit. Okay. So we'll play Shambling Gast. Um and we'll play the Freebooter. All is fine. Uh the Apostles Blessing is gone. They've got Lava Dark, Kiln Fiend, Festival Crusher. Third land. Kiln Fiend, sure. Attack for one, we'll take the one. The one of Lava Dark is go nuts. Two cards. So we do know that we have a hit. Here with the uh, Duress. But I think I'm just going to. Deadly Dispute here. And I'll likely. I don't know what I'll do. I probably will just block. Block the Shambling Gast here. I think. Play a Festival Crusher. Sure. If they attack with this I'll just. 
block here. Hey, this kills this. Take the one. I don't really care that much. Mm, yeah, maybe should have blocked and sacked, but we'll go free boot here to just basically get as much stuff as possible. Uh, as much like we can see as much as possible. I don't think we want it. I think we just want combo here. Uh, okay, draw snuff out a good one. Land. So I guess do we go Jurass to take this plus Nightblade? But I guess we play Nightblade first. Nightblade. Do we play Freebooter here? I guess we Jurass first. Let's Jurass. See if we want to we can shoot something. Take something. Lava Dart the plant. Lava Dart the plant is gone. What do they do with the scry? Keep it on top, huh? So I'm gonna go black, black, or black one. Sack this. Shoot, shoot. Always yes, always yield. Pew, 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 pew. Deadly dispute. Create a treasure. Safekeeping. Lava Dart does nothing. Jurass you. Taking a mountain. So you have a mountain. Okay. Then we get to. Oh, let's say we play the land this turn. Um, do we want to play this? Or do we want to hold up safe? I think we want to hold up safe keeping. Right? So I think we. Hmm. This is the interesting thing here. So they get a mana morph. So do we kill this? Hmm. Could just get nuts here. Yeah. Scry. And they keep on top as well. <clears throat> yep. I'm going to block, try and kill this. See what they do. Red, red. Another mana morphos. I kept it on top. It's interesting to see what it could be. We're going to go block. Block. Lava dart, my guy. Um, Really interesting. What to do here? So we can give this minus one, minus one. So then this trades and we can safe keep in this to keep this alive. Or we just safe keep in this. Is safe keeping that enough? To just block one? Probably think that's okay. We gain three from this exchange. And then we get a snuff. If they have a protection spell, we get a snuff, whatever the... Or if they have a team of battle rage, we get to kill the one that the team of battle rage in, you know, that sort of thing. They do cast another mana morphos. Okay. The problem is they're just running for what this turn is. So if we survive this turn, we should be golden, right? There are two cards in hand, one being a land. Ancestral Anger. <clears throat> so I'm gonna stop them drawing here. And it's on that guy. Yep. So they don't gain trample. They don't get a draw a card. And then we get to block here. Take five, right? And they put it on the bottom. Yeah, block here, take five. They've got a land in hand. Block here. Okay, take five. Take a chill pill. Uh we get to play free booter here and Guess I play this land out. Sack so get a uh, black source. <laughs> and then we'll just pass the turn. Again, keep as much blockers as possible. They've got one card in hand and it's a land. So be interesting to see if they do decide to attack. They don't. That's good for us. So we then get a sack this. Sack this, scry, and make a treasure. Nightblade is the secret MVP, just chilling. I wonder what their card is. Is that a bolt or really interesting? Nervous. I don't know why a deck like this always makes me nervous. Let's always yield this. <clears throat> uh, we'll take a brood scale. Brood scale is a pretty good one. Let me just make a token, all that sort of good stuff. Draw two, draw brood scale, and then we'll take that. Oh, baby! Oh, baby, I love you so. Put a glee on there, glee on there. Uh how do I wanna do this? Do it instant speed once I know what they've got. As soon as the combo as soon as they point something at me, I'm done. Like the dead, so I don't really care, right? I just sit here until I know what the second card in the hand is. You gonna play that land? No. Yes, let's go, baby! Because then I basically they only had this turn and then I just 
try to combo off, and then if they do, I just kill this in response, and then away we go. Nice. Let's go, baby. See you guys for round number four. Hey guys, welcome back here to round number four. We're against Las Vegas Chaos on the draw, and we have a pretty okay hand. Found the garden into deadly dispute. Um, that can then go to another deadly dispute, and then another eviscerate. And they're against, and we're against looking like Ponzalus, I would assume, a green red ram. Let's see, are we against Ponza or Ponzalus? Enter. So I'm fine just deadly disputing this away. Get your red sauce. One, two, three, four. Do you have an Arbor Elf? No Arbor Elf. So wait. Oh. So here we can get the deadly the deadly dispute. One, two, three, four, five. So the kind of engine hunter here. Yep, that's fine. So it's pretty much just a race at this point. Get your mountain, sure. So I'm gonna deadly dispute this. We didn't get a land. Oh my god. Land. Brood scale, huh? Let's do this. And we'll corrupt it conviction. Steal it forever. Forever and ever. Um and I'm gonna hopefully draw a land here. We did draw two lands, so we take a boredom party. Uh get rid of this forest. We will play said swamp into freebooter here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we don't need this one. <clears throat> They're going to forge this, I'm assuming. Yep. Play a mountain. Play a boarding party. Hit something bad. Nice. Are you going to hit 411 here? Or are you going to hold back? Hmm. Oh, I don't know what the best thing to do. I don't know what they're going to do either. Uh, we'll probably block this. I think go 13. 13. Yeah, so we'll block here. We are basically digging for combo right now, right? Cool. Combo? It's not combo. So we'll play this. Play brood scale. Brood scale here. Yeah, so we're gonna brood scale here. Into block, block, deadly dispute this, and then cameos this. Could be good. Uh they have basically a forest and an unknown in hand, right? So they're going to trap us, sure. And we basically need a sadistically in the next few draws. Um, That puts us to one. We could just block and deadly dispute, right? Or one. As opposed to three. Seven, that one. Yeah, I think one. Because we could, in theory, actually go to uh, three, right, with the Tamiyo safekeeping. But a block here with the boarding party into deadly dispute it we could in hmm. we corrupted conviction it instead unsure um there's a window they could kill this i guess if they have bolts or screds in the deck hmm i'm gonna actually corrupted conviction this more just because there's less targets yeah that one untappy elf and you've got the forest now you did you play the forest you did play the forest we have a random card that we do not know. Mesfina. So we can go a three. I'm trying to think of a way to be able to block with this or something. Um, I guess we have to just deadly dispute this treasure. Nightblade, free booter. Nightblade. Nightblade is a good way to gain life. For sure. I don't think I can, I can gain seven life though. So do we draw again? So we go Freebooter, Insight, Safekeeping doesn't do it. Draw two. I played a land right. Oh! So they draw a card, that's fine. How do we stop dying to all this? So we need to just block one thing with this. One thing with this, I don't think we can, right? So we can go a three. Block here, take five. I think we're just dead. Deaded, deaded, deaded. We want card away? Nope. We will never know. Hmm. Probably don't think the last right is usable, it is very good. And I think we've just taken eviscerated inside out. Potentially, we could, in theory, want snuff outs. 
rest is a bit weird though like it hits all the ramp stuff it hits the interaction but it doesn't hit the creatures and that's the thing that i don't like so then maybe do i just bring in snuff outs to slow them down i don't hit that and then just use the tamio safekeeping as protection maybe could have played that a bit differently to take the initiative and slow down the life thing and all that sort of stuff but i likely probably would have just lost to the board and party stuff um is interesting but we are on the player we can't keep a one green hand which doesn't work uh we can keep a hand like this though i think and just put back this forest and we just basically start drawing cards with vault plus colony garden uh keep on this done just play a colony garden into vault our opponent also multi six sweet they're probably an arbor elf here yep Womp. um most they're gonna have is four so i'm actually gonna dig here for a snuff nope i'm gonna mez thing Ho hopefully they are playing uh okay that's quite good for us i guess at the top land arson attack so they're going to four mana this turn um i'm actually well that changes my plan i'm gonna do this and kill the arbor elf goodbye arbor elf draw two and we've got it again but then we'll basically when they go a three here we'll just mez fiend plus village rights unless they go forest and thermocasters or something <clears throat> okay mountaining really wanted that red i have six here draw i'm gonna hold control play a mez fiend play a corrupted conviction here leaves leaves so we're just gonna take the writhing chrysalis then the avenging hunter uh colony garden or i think we actually just play a um reboot over here keeping our land drops they hit you top before one two we play land you top for one two three four and then we'll take the avenger under here one two three four five if they hit land um then sure i guess <laughs> but we don't want the avenger hunter in play uh, snuff out's actually really good uh take the engine hunter here so you've got two board and pies in your hand we will probably just play this land and then i'm fine just to play this uh shambling ghast and then we'll just start attacking we could have also not attacked in case they hit a land here to triple block um but i think the snuff out's perfectly reasonable to just have access to yeah they hit the land just don't hit an avenger hunter please yeah they hit a gorilla shaman okay that's fine do not care um okay i was gonna say do i just block and then kill this and then snuff this i think i'll just snuff this now goodbye there's a brood scale i'm gonna play mesfiend i'm gonna take their boarding part a Whap. I will rip your hand apart, sir. Take that boarding part, eh? Hmm. I guess we attack for two. Um. I'm going to play this land. And I'm going to eviscerate us inside this because I'll lose all my lands. Attack, which one, minus one, minus one. Boop. Or two. Play. Reboot. I had to kill the Gorilla Shaman, basically, because we've got three vaults. I normally don't really care. So you get Nyxborn or Riven Chrysalis really here. I'm assuming they're going to take Chrysalis. Yep. And they're going to play Chrysalis. And then no cards in hand. Not a bad draw though. For our opponent that is. Um, I'm going to play this. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can kill this. Or. Yeah, I'm just going to hard cast this. There's no point in wasting life really. Then we're just going to play probably just the free but just in case they draw a breath weapon because they have shown that they've got it in the deck and then we're just going to start attacking um and then i'm going to sack that in upkeep the twisted landscape just to get rid of our land probably get uh, i don't actually know four here five for an avenger hunter chrysalis chrysalis with the extra one floated for good measure sure go cool. glee nightblade oh i forgot to uh sack this in upkeep oh well uh play this guess it works out so this is now 
above uh, Breath Weapon. I'm going to play Nightblade, and then I'm just going to start a block. Doesn't have Trample, so this survives Breath Weapon, this survives Breath Weapon, and then I'm just going to throw everything at it. Oh, uh, uh, you can take Ent, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. Play a big end. It's going to have six. Six. Big end. Sure. Uh, 35 cards. We're just sitting here waiting for a glee right now. I should have sacked this. Oh, well. Let's sack this now before I forget. Uh, get a forest out of my deck, I guess. Why not? Play this. And then pass. Do I have a eviscerator in sight? Oh. What a silly sausage. So I did this. Get a scry. Erupted Conviction is okie dokie. Draw two. Erupted Conviction Glee. I can't believe I forgot about that, you know. Oopsie. I probably should pull my graveyard out. That's probably a good place to be. Uh, so we'll sack this. Uh, always shield. <clears throat> Kill this. Um, top, I guess, because it works really good next turn. And if I draw, I was going to say, and if I draw a land, it's great. Uh, black. And black. Attack this. Make another scry. Uh, Whee! Uh, bottom. Drawing glee. Boom. Nope. No glee in sight. Go. They're on 13 here. <clears throat> we have inside. We have 26 cards left in deck. Well, 27, sorry. Yes, yeah, so you can get in three. Two, three, four. Another writhing chrysalis. Okie dokie. Gonna attack? You are attacking. Uh, block. Block, I guess. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Wop. Guy dies. You lose one. And we will create a treasure token. Wop. Wop. You're on 15. Let's do some digging. Freeboot is a good draw. Daily dispute. I swear, honestly, I'm not lying to you. I haven't cut the glaze. Wow. Jesus. Um, I actually do think snuff. Probably better than a safekeeping. I just think it interacts with their game plan too much. Uh, safekeeping's good against the glamour, but this is better against uh, their sort of board. So we are on the draw here, but we do have a reasonable hand. The Shamblin Gas is really good if they have an Arbor Elf start, so then they get like a one-off use. Um, <clears throat> obviously, Mezfiend showed its weight, its skill there last game. Um, so we're just probably going to Deadly Dispute this and kill this. So they have access to four mana here, but that's pretty much where it ends. So they have Arbor Elf. And two. I guess if they play Writhing Chrysalis, it's pretty bad. We just need a Glee. And then and basically to only have one piece of interaction. Don't have Writhing Chrysalis, please. Have they the nuts? Have they the nuts? Oh, Nick Spawn. Sure. Um This has trample. I just Mez Fiend here. One, two, three, four, five. Just uh probably after Mez Fiend here to take whatever the best card is. Generous end. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if they draw a land, they can play a generous end. But I'll probably just take this Gorilla Shaman. Um, am I blocking? Am I blocking a 3 3 Trampler? Probably not. But let's attack. Yep, final land. Play an end. An end is good because it doesn't actually uh, mean we're getting hit for 3. Go. Oh. Snuff is great too. This is a 2 3, right? So I'm just going to play this. Do I snuff the Arbor Elf? One, two, three, four. Because then I just, they're just stuck, right? They just got a 5 7. I said just a 5 7. Yeah, I'm actually going to do that. Snuff this. We've got 2 3, which is fine, and a 5 7. We did take 4 for that, but we're literally just sitting here waiting for combo. Found another land. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We block the 5 7, then Deadly Dispute. Um, We could also block here. Block here, block here, minus, uh, dead is with this, minus one, minus one on this, block here, we get a Gorilla Shaman, uh, I probably just block and take, yeah, I'm just gonna block here, take two, oh yeah, it just seems better, 
I was basically just thinking about clearing the board here. Uh, create treasure. Creating treasures for days. And they have one card now, which is an end. Three, four, five. Endless super boring. Our opponent is in. Gain three, sure. Okay. Oh, apparently my deck. My deck is endless super boring. Um, John. Okay. <laughs> I can't really, uh, can't really comment on that. I could just play th the Nightblade here. Uh, I think I'd just rather dig though, right? Yeah, I just sack here, Eviscerate his Insight, eh, that sort of stuff. And then try and look at comboing. There were two cards in hand. Two. There's a Gorilla Shaman. Uh, Black. Wop. Whee! Alright, creature gets minus one, minus one. Goodbye. And we'll draw two. No, my land. Okay. Go. Draw two. Okay, so now we get to block here and Corrupted Conviction, which is still quite nice. Still works out quite nicely. Uh, block. Okay. Corrupted Conviction. Scry. Draw. Draw two. Got 12. Draw. Family Garden's fine. Uh, we'll play Freebooter. And then next turn will likely... As long as they don't draw another... I probably should be attacking for one here, but oh well. You never know what happens. Six. So they can now play an end. Cool. We take two yet again. Block. Okay. Gen village rights. We're now literally just waiting for Glee. Uh, Daily Spirit's fine. Draw two. Play your... <laughs> play your... And... Do we have an eviscerator inside in the bin? Um, I'm going to draw. Whoop. We're going to play a Nightblade. Look at us go. And now we can start gaining life from our Deadly Disputing. Let's go. So we're going to block, block here. Six, boarding party. Don't hear anything interesting. Writhing Chrysalis. Okay. Yep. So we will block, block, take seven. Is that? Um, we could block here as well, but we're just minimizing. We really should find a seven deadly dispute. This one, we really should find a glee. Glee erupted conviction like this. Pew pew. Got two. Oh my god, seriously, like no glee whatsoever. Jesus, glee. Uh, so we can go brood scale activate brood scale play free brood uh, play land block 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 is that or do i just free brood a deadly dispute now if i free brood a deadly dispute and then miss i only have two blocks so that's block block taking five six seven eight nine ten eleven when i'm gaining one well, I guess I could play this. So it's two blocks. So block here, block here. Take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, yeah. Or three blocks, I guess. So we're taking four, five, six. I guess I can still free boot a deadly dispute here. Because I'm, yeah, I make four tokens, right? Let me a scry for glee. Bottom. Draw two. So we play. Play this. Play this. Can I please, for the love of God, find a glee? We're halfway through our deck and we found none. And we'll pass again. I don't know why I'm also not blocking this with the Nightblade. Which I could have done last turn. Which I'll do again this turn, prob probably. <laughs> right. So, let's block here. Block here. Block here. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? No? Right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got a one. Okay. Yes. Yes. In game three. Oh, dear. Um, I guess we sack this one. We make a treasure. Great treasure. Got a nine. Got a one. Calmly garden. What's the count on that? We take them five. 
five nine and then i guess we go green green gaining two mega spawn <clears throat> uh oh, i can't always yes yes spawn dies we got two six and sure. so we are yet again waiting for a glee exactly halfway through our deck let's go snuff so we can sack this find a glee and win is that our game plan three four five do we have any other option not really find a glee colony garden ah. i guess no we don't uh basically our problem is here is we can't gain enough life to snuff out to trigger glee that's our problem right now so if i so then i have to i guess hmm. if i corrupted conviction i have to corrupted conviction the token got four um and i think that's probably our best bet but then how do i gain life a corrupted conviction this or i could play a land corrupted conviction then i don't have mana this is wild i can't believe we are 20 25 cards left left in our deck and we have glee right so let's play a swamp 25 cards to find our first glee glee 25 cards i'm just dead right because i can't kill anything without dying so how do i get out of this there's no tokens there's no i can't right and i played a land how do i get out of this <laughs> Block here, block here, no, block here, block here. Ah, Why well, can't? I guess the turn did. I'm, I don't. I can't remember if there's a turn they attacked with this and I didn't block. Yeah, this is frustrating. Like literally, his hand was dreadful as well. Like he just kept no interaction. Um, I'm trying to think how. Uh, yeah, just dead. What? Let's go. Attack. Block. Wap. Um, yeah, I just don't think we can do about that. Like, absolutely ridiculous variance on there. Seriously, like, that should not happen. This matchup is free. Um, I ripped the hand apart. I did everything. I literally... The only thing you can't stop, and it's the same with all these combo decks, is you can't stop your deck. And if you can't search for the combo pieces... You can't win. If if we had a card in the 27th card, we were won. If we had it in the 28th card, we won. If we had any copy of the combo, both pieces of the combo in any top half, which you have four copies, it is very likely. This is just mad variance. And the fact that basically our opponent is basically saying, your deck, our opponent has said, your deck is bad. It can't beat a deck with no removal or trample. It is therefore bad. That is some whack logic. Don't be this dude. Anyways. See you guys for the round number five. Here we are back for round five. We're on the play, but we can't keep it. No lander. We can keep this though. Uh, Colony Garden into Corrupted Conviction. Or actually, to be fair, more often. I actually probably don't want a free booter. And then we'll just play Shambling Gast here. No, I have a really weird feeling that they're on Boros. Don't know why. Maybe it's the... Uh, they're not on Boros. So, just play this, then pass. Someone, uh, maybe me, forgot to uh, unpause, but four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're gonna do this, and then we'll just discard something else. Um, I think this is bottomish, right? Discard a one, two. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, plus two. So we just got the Colony Garden, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure. We have combo. Let's see if they've got removal. One, two. Mezfiend. Do we have an Eviscerator inside the bin? We do not. Let's see what they're working with. They've got two lands. So we play land. One and a green. One and a green. Uh, yes. Yield. 
But I'm five and we're taking five, right? Yeah, we're just dead. I forgot we were on five. What? What? Affinity, huh? Uh, I think we just want the dresses. I think last right is okay. Sadistic uh, Tamil safety is okay. Mezfine seems pretty mid. Uh, take an insight out. Take a last right out. Call it a day there. I guess. I just think the initial duress side of things is uh is easy. It's easy to just play and find a slot to play it. The annoying thing there is with the two with the last right ripping the two galv blasts. I think last turn I had the combo. I probably should have just went for it. Um, it probably it didn't mean that much, but it meant that I could dig a bit. I don't know. And I don't take four. I have an infinite infinite. I take three four. Right? Yeah. I don't know. Let's see if we can get the win here. One duress freebooter. Uh, this is so awkward. If we find another land, it's great. If we find... Do you know what? I'm going to risk this hand. This hand might be a bad hand. Especially if they have Gorilla Shaman and such. Because if we find a land, we've got Freebooter, great. All that sort of good stuff. We have Duress. They're more at six. Lead on Freebooter here. Duress. Are they going to just take the Duress? Yeah. And say so they could take the Duress. They could take the Glee. All that easy ish takes. Duress is, shows that they've probably got interaction in the hand. I could also glee one of these. Is uh, something I could do. Oh, come on, deck, man. Give me all of the. I'm gonna attack here. Uh, pretty awkward. It looks like they might not have red. So, um, so we will just discard this Eviscerator's Insight. It's fairly free. We'll still attack. So, I'm going to discard a Deadly Dispute. Do I have a Null? Hmm. Okay. Bro, we found a land. Let's go. Attack! Can I block it on? We'll start with Deadly Dispute. Village rights is great. Top, draw two, draw Brute Scale. Draw a green sauce, though. Take that. We've still got no red, so I'm assuming they have... Hmm. So deadly dispute to create a red mana, which is fine. We can do we village rights this end of turn? Probably right. And what we're digging for glee. Uh not glee, uh brute scale. Caligan's probably okay. Means I can save myself four damage here. Nightblade's okay. Another glee, not great. Hmm. Just thinking the other thing that we could do here is Nightblade plus Glee. But doesn't seem that great. Deadly dispute of land. Play another Mur Enforcer, okay. I really need combo like ASAP here and interaction in somewhere. Nearly top third through our deck. Root skill. <laughs> okay. Yep. Four, eight, nine, ten. Come on, deck, please, man. <sighs> One, two. Combo. One, two, this, adapt. I want to this. They didn't kill these. Three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So I might just have to play Nightblade plus Glee. Right? Right. Okay. I maybe should have then tried to Brood Scale plus Glee. Otherwise, I don't think this really works. We have a Galv Blast, we reckon. Probably at this point. 4, 8, 10, 12. Do I just got a 3 here? Oh my god. Do I block? I don't think so, right? I just got a 3, and if they have a Galv Blast, I have a Galv Blast. Yep. Yeah. Deck man, please. Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? They've definitely got a thing here. Surely they have. Ba -ba -da -ba. I'm really confused what they've got here. Does that mean we win? Right? Oh! Am I messed up? I think I was supposed to do it in response to combat here. Adapt one, then basically no matter what, they sack this. They shouldn't have let the glee resolve. Is this? 
Because as soon as this this triggers, this dies. So they, they need to have a toxin analysis here. I feel like they've messed up, but I don't know. Right? Yes. Yes. Done again. This is that. This is definitely just a panic. So this dies, and now we win. Always yes. Uh, always yield. So we definitely didn't deserve to win this. Let me sack. Wap. They always yield these, right? Wap. GG. Woof. I also should have done this before, but oh well. Wee. Holding W. One strike time is out. Let's go. What a great guy. Eight. Seven. All in response to the adapt. Let's go. Lesson learned here. If you are going to crack on Charm and do it before the sadistic league, because it doesn't work. Especially like this. Six. Five. Three. Two. One. GG. But I. Well, consider uh, at least on the plus side, our opponent misplayed into. Uh, do I take this out, put the last right back in? Probably. Uh, so we have a one lander here on the draw, but we have Freebooter Booter Corrupted Conviction. We can easily keep that, I think. Got the red sauce this time. Let's see if we. Uh, we also do have the protection. So, easy Freebooter here. We're going to Corrupted Conviction and try and find another land. If we get another land, we're sort of laughing. As well, and good job. I'm undressable with the double corrupted conviction too. Well, spring is perfectly fine. Hopefully, we just naturally draw a land here. Nope. So we will corrupted conviction now. Go to eight cards. Scry. We want another land, so that goes to the bottom. Draw two. We do not get a land. We've got a freebooter here. A lot of one landers have went wrong with freebooter so far today. So. Refurb is fine. We'll just discard a Eviscerator's Insight here. Again, all we need is a land. Daily Dispute helps loads. This is the Freebooter. We have a Cryptic Conviction. We have a lot of looks here. At uh, And also, it would be really awful if we have a Think of the Shamanus here. We take a draw. We're going to draw a land. Nope. Okay. We sadistically. Uh, yep. Uh, we sort of want this, but we also want to land, so... Bottom. Land, please. Let's go. This gets a green source as well. I mean, a turn or two. Deadly Spirit's great for them. We also want the Shambling Ghast as well. Because it's a good way of killing Crackland Shaman. The rest, they're probably going to take Glee here. So then we have to dig for combo again. Yep. Yeah. Blue for a thought cast. Sure. We're just gonna F6. They got a clean up. They're missing a land again, I think. So I think I just want to play Twisted Landscape here for a green. Uh I actually think I want a duress. Pass down. And it's a triple refurb. Um I guess I take the Galf Blast here and then I play this. And then I pass. I attack for one and then pass. So they've got triple refurb there. Scary stuff, really. So, and we took the Galblast. So they've got a cast down here. So now, basically, the reason I took the Galblast of the cast down is it really puts pressure on this one black, single black mana here. So they have a second one. Handy trail, sure. So I'll sack it for a green source, then Deadly Dispute, and then untap and look at Deadly Dispute and his Mez Fiend. Yeah, they're gonna hold up. Makes sense to hold up the cast down. So sack here for a green, and then we'll deadly dispute this. So we we'll get the forest. Deadly dispute this. Scry, looking for any piece of combo. Uh, I actually think this isn't the worst with the Mez Fiend because we've got three mana up. Oh, we've got four. Um, I still think I want a Mez Fiend corrupted conviction. Just because the Deadly Dispute and that works off. It works off more, basically. So we're going to take... Oh, is it in Cast Down or Deadly Dispute here? Uh, we're going to take Deadly Dispute. We'll take Deadly Dispute forever. And we'll then take Cast Down. And you've basically left with three refurbs, is that? Okie dokie. Oh, so they can play two. 
We are basically hard digging for combo right now. And they're just going to play three refurbs here. Uh, refurb one. Yep. And then the final one. I think. Maybe we're just getting rid of the safe keep now. And a murder foster. Jesus Christ. Come on, game man. Is it for found the duress at the right time? And then four. Four refurbs. The amount of cards we would have been able to draw. Four, five, six, four, eight, twelve. Is that so without two here? Is what we're saying. I'm going to discard this. Draw. I need something. Gambling gas. Why did I tap the. I guess. Okay. So we're going to village rights this kill. Uh, so we're going to block the Mer Enforcer. Block Mer Enforcer. Blood Fountain. Uh, bring back. So Blood Fountain bring back another Mer Enforcer here. We're taking six. We're gonna block here. Deadly dis uh yeah, village rights this. Block here. Village rights this. I guess we should have just tapped the uh if we needed a green for the we take six down to eight. Draw two. Both pieces of combo. Go. There's one at least. Are you gonna sack the blood fountain as well? Uh, bring back a mer enforcer? I'll bring back a refurb and a murder enforcer, I guess. F6. Yes. So we have what? We're dead, aren't we? No, no, we're not. We're not dead. We're down to two. The brood scale. Adapt. Yes. Guild. Glee. And then we make this big. Make this big enough to one-shot them. At least. And then these two just start... These two both block here. And we need them not to draw, not to draw a cast down, not to draw a Galv Blast in one card. Well, two, I guess. And this is going to one shot. I'll just do it there. Okay. Please, this is stressing me out. Discarding Silver Buff Bridge. So they have a refurb plus unknown. They're going to refurb us. Discarded Deadly Dispute. Sure. We're down to two. Let's sack this. <clears throat> sack this. Draw. Nightblade. Glee. Glee makes infinite ones but doesn't do anything. We can make infinite two power. Uh, these two infinite. Or. And a black. For an eviscerator. Sack this. Come on. Give me a nightblade. Last right. Do we have another eviscerator inside? We do. One. Two, three, four, <clears throat> and a black. Four, and a viscera is inside on here. Nightblade, 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 Nightblade. Mezfiend, Brood Scale. So we can. Green, green, black. So if I go. Oh, I can attack, can it? Am I dead? Do I have another thing in the grave? I don't. I'm just dead, right? Can't believe I see. Literally, I bet you the fact that these are two cards further down. Uh, green. <clears throat> Glee. Attack. Fuck with a murder enforcer. Dies. Good counter. Uh, yes. And then are we just dead, right? Just dead, unfortunately, because they've seen all four. See you for the next one. Hey, guys. Welcome back. To the last round, uh, we will keep this hammer on the draw. We've got uh, one lander, but we've got Shamlin Gas Village Right. Seems fair enough to me. I guess the good thing about this, oh, so we're against Affinity. Okay, at least we found a land. So we're Shamlin Gas. I might, I might keep the Shamlin Gas to be honest. Reef mob. Probably gonna get rid of the Village Right here. <laughs> so we'll play a Carnage Garden here. Uh, it's still a land. We can kill this if we need to, but I don't think we need to. We'll probably just sack the plant token, to be honest. Yeah. And I'm assuming... I'm actually, I might not even do anything. I don't need to. Uh, so here I'm going to sack the plant token, just to get a better view of what I'm going to discard and draw and all that sort of good stuff. Um, <clears throat> hmm. I'm going to just discard the Shamblin' Gast. And then I'm assuming they're attacking for two. Twisted Landscape. I'm going to play this. I'm going to play the Mezfiend just to see what the working with. I might be able to discard a... Hit a Crackland Shaman or something. No. 
all that sort of good stuff. You just don't know. So Crackland Shaman cast down, huh? So we take the Crackland Shaman. I sack this for green, I think. And then I attack for one. So they cast down the uh, Mezfiend to then play the Crackland Shaman, which is totally fine. Especially the fact that they're playing it now means we can get around it with the uh, Gambling Ghast, potentially. Um, <clears throat> so if I play, play this, and then I Glee this, they sack this. Could Glee this, to be fair. Glee this, Brood Scale. What did they have? Thought Cast. Glee this, the, this dies. This gets two. But then this dies, but then they both die, right? So I think I'd just play the brood scale here. And then away we go. I'll attack. So we're basically going to look at trying to kill this with this here. That's what we're going to try and do. Attacking for four, putting this to ten. There were three cards in hand. One's a thought cast, no blue. Good to know. Reckon his bargain is actually good for us. Because it doesn't produce a token, and it means they have to sacrifice either a land or... Yeah. To sort of get this all off the ground. Village right huh? So I can play this land. If I play sadistically... If I play sadistically here. Two to do. I shouldn't really let this resolve. But they have to sacrifice three artifacts for that, or have a Galv Blast. So, I'm going to... Village right this... And kill this. They've got one mana up, so we're trying to find a safe keep in here. They've got no mana up, sorry, so we're trying to find a safe keep in here. Basically. Or oh, they've sacrificed three. So they've sacked three things here, so we can't do anything about it, so we might as well not adapt this. Uh kill the creature that doesn't exist, then draw two cards. And we just have brood skill. So we have combo again. That goes. That goes. They have a one card in hand. Do we just play this or not? I could have another. No. That's not. That's not. One, two, three, four, five. So we have enough mana to combo next turn. Thought cast, which we knew about. So they haven't got. They've only got one black up here. They're going to attack for four, put us to six. And we're going to try and combo here. We have no village. Uh, no uh, energy refractor here, so. We're basically just going to add combo here. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yield. Uh, clear this up. And I'm just going to basically make this massive and then uh, and then go from there. I just want it to be out of range of double Galve Blast. But then if they have a Galve Blast, they just kill us. If they were lucky enough to get another Galve Blast, GG to them. <clears throat> if they have a cast down again, GG, GG to them. So I have a play land, play munitions. Two, four, five. So we're down to one here. Is that? Unless they have a Galvas, but my logic is that, okay. No, no attacks. Okay. That also works. We, oh no. <coughs> They're attacking for two. Okay. So we basically are digging for a shambling gas here, right? Is the best way for it. So let's start with a corrupted conviction. Draw. We've just got what three draw spells here um attack this deadly dispute this we mezfiend doesn't do anything unfortunately not really anyways not now with the makeshift munitions in place so we attack they block they sack throw it at us they attack for two sack throw something at us we're still in basic need for well i guess even a eviscerate a shambling gas doesn't really cut it now right because we need two black sources so we will eviscerate inside this make the guy bigger for what that's worth draw nightblade are you joking me that we found the shambling gas to turn to alert so we attack they kill the guy they throw it at us so i guess all we can do is black Back. And then Eviscerator's Insight again. I guess we use the one in the graveyard. For what it's worth. Our opponent's not F6 through the turn because they want to throw this at something. Well, at us. But 
Take this. Goodbye. Swamp and Nightblade is out now. No! <laughs> Just dead again, right? I think the sack engine in this is all wrong. Like, you need to commit to one or the other. Are you going to throw this at our face? Yep. You either need to go all in the one mana draw spells plus deadly dispute, or all in the artifact draw spells and go down engine refactor route, because this is dreadful. It's so clunky once you do combo, it's horrendous. Uh, so we want hmm. inside gone and last right gone, I think. I also don't like the mana base either. The mana base sucks. Too many green sources, <laughs> in a weird way, with all the treasures. But it's all good. We will come carry on and hopefully get that. I really don't like Eviscerator's Insight as well. It literally gives you nothing. Um, attack. I am going to Village Rights this create a treasure token. Try and find another sack card. No, we found more sack outlets. Let's go. And they're going to most likely duress. Oh no, Blood Fountain. That all. Uh, so let's deadly dispute the treasure token. Trying to find anything. So we have combo. That's something. Uh, let's sack this for a green sauce. Green sauce. No, pass. If they tap out to sort of do something, we draw land, we can kill them, right? Maybe not actually. Reefer, this guy, this. Tap land pass, huh? Broodscale.com. So I think. I think I just deadly dispute this treasure token. Try to find a land or something. No, we did not. So I guess I laid on a brood scale. Worst case scenario, uh, it dies. The waste of removal spell. Next case scenario, it survives. We get to corrupted conviction it or whatever. <clears throat> yep, so they cast it down. We get to Mezfiend. Mezfiend plus uh, this card. Oh, let's do that instead, right? Let's Mezfiend. <clears throat> do Mezfiend plus. No, I think we Mezfiend plus Deadly Dispute, right? I think it's just the better player. Town the Garden is fine. Toxin Analysis, Wellspring. So they can. Toxin analysis, nothing. And we just stop the draw. I think I prefer that, right? Yeah, I think so. So they have Wellspring, Great Furnace, Toxin analysis. Play the Great Furnace. They're going to play the Wellspring. Yep. I'm going to F6 here. Wellspring again. Sure. <clears throat> Murder Enforcer. So they've got Toxin analysis, random card. Oh. They've got Crackland Charmin. Great. Plus Toxin analysis. And we're on 12. Uh, Shambling Ghast. So if we go... Kill this. Hmm. So if we go Corrupted Conviction, kill this. Then play... We need a land though, right? No. We just play Carnival Garden and pass, right? Yeah, that seems, seems to make the most sense. So they have Toxin Analysis. Is basically what they've got. And we'll go block, block. Yeah, we'll go block, block. Kill the Crack Clan, draw uh, four cards, and then look at trying to combo kill them next turn. We might even keep the Corrupted Conviction around and not draw cards off this plant token, so it's cheaper. It's cheaper to activate everything. You don't need double. You don't need two mana. Sure. And they're just gonna gain a bunch. I guess I kill this for what it's worth. They then kill their Crack Clan Shaman. Two. Mm, I think I just have to get this back and hope they don't have a Galve Blast. Right, we died with a Galve Blast here, pretty much. So we died with a Galve Blast here, or them returning this Crackland Charm. I'm assuming they've just do a Galve Blast because I haven't uh, done anything here. Do they just have a Galve Blast? Do they have it all? I give up with this game today. I really do. What is this variance we are getting against? This is mental. Yeah. We basically had combo. We were one mana shot. Like, if this was an untapped land, we combo killed them that turn. That is so annoying. Um, now we're just dead, right? Hey, guys. So, basically, um, this deck just dies to variance. It itself dies to variance, i.e. we lost two games because we could not find a... 
uh, one half of the combo, even though all our deck is draw. Um, we had a few times where we couldn't combo because of the mana situation, because the deck's competing with either dis uh, second creatures or artifacts. And then finally, we also got mad variants out because uh, our opponent drew four refurbs or four spell stutters, or it was never normal situation issues. I think overall, I, I just think this combo is actually just surprisingly weak. Is basically the top moment, especially in this shell. Um, there's too much stuff going on, and it's all competing with each other. You've got none of it gels, so you've got like the idea of village rights and shambling as works super well, but then you've got eviscerators in sight, which is then competing with that, but doesn't create a token. You've got deadly dispute, which obviously creates multiple tokens in that sense. And it just nothing gels together. I think if you were going to play this, just play Jund or just play the normal green black. This deck cannot survive variants. It basically wants it basically wants the the Grixis affinity player. Oh, I've got to play around Crackland Shaman. It wants them to see one Crackland Shaman. You to find your Shambling Gast, and then it all combos and all be nice. And that's how it works. But this deck can't can't. It operates on so thin margins. It can't work. But I do hope you enjoyed this video. I, I do enjoy this playing this deck. It is quite fun to play. But yeah, I think I think this list is just bad. Um that's basically my honest opinion on it. And I think a lot of it is just pretty poor. Um hope you guys enjoyed this video though. Uh I did enjoy playing the challenge. It was pretty cool to do. And I will see you guys for the next one. Peace.